Hello, and welcome to the 126th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and I'm coming to you live from Casa de Bruckert, where we're going to be sampling another outstanding beer, a good German beer for October, Oktoberfest. Although it's not an Oktoberfest beer, but this is the Hockershore Weiss, which is a German Weiss beer, or Hefeweizen, which I'm going to open up with this great German bottle opener here. Um, now, this beer rates 92 out of 100, which rates it as outstanding uh, for uh, this style of beer. Now, this beer, just so you know, is rated the number eight uh, Hefeweizen in the world. Okay, so when I say it's outstanding, it's like right up there. And there's a cup, it's real close when it gets into the top 10 with the Hefeweizens. I would have to question some of the ratings myself because I would probably put this higher than eight. Um, but there's some that are even lower that I think should be a little bit higher and some that are higher, which I think they just don't quite have as much flavor. Um, so, but I think that, that this is an excellent Hefeweizen. It's not my first time having it, uh, nor will it be my last. Um, so Hocker Shore is a great beer. They also make a great Oktoberfest. Um, they're, they're out of uh, Munich, Germany, where, where a lot of the good ones, a lot of the Hefeweizen, so actually the, the style of beer comes from <coughs> Southern uh, Germany. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you, the first thing we're going to look, and you can't, I don't know if you can tell from there, but you do get a very cloudy um, appearance, which you should get from a Hefeweizen. Um, the beer clocks in at 5.5. 3% alcohol by volume, which is about standard for this type of beer. Um, it's an unfiltered beer, which is why you get the, the cloudiness, but you do get the golden color, good carbonation, so you get the head that's sticking. It's not just uh, evaporating right away. So let's go ahead, let's smell this. Okay, so. Okay, so what I get out of that, I get some like a, some or, a little bit of orange or maybe uh, like an orange peel kind of uh, scent from it. I do get like the bready um, type of uh, taste you get from uh, or smell you get from some of the, kind of some of the hefeweizens. I do smell the clove, but what I don't smell is a lot of banana. Even though if I remember right, last time I had this. There was a little bit of that banana flavor. You know how you get in some of the German Hefeweizens? It's just a flavor because there's no banana in it. But it's one of the flavors that's produced when they're making these good unfiltered German Hefeweizens. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to smell it one last time. And then I'm going to taste it here. So another example of a great German Hefeweizen. This one's a little on the crisp side, so it, it finishes kind of dry, but you get that multi-wheat flavor that you get in a, in a good uh, wheat beer. And I do get a, like a, little citrusy in there. And I do get a, a, a hint. It's not a strong uh, banana flavor that would you that you would get like if you were drinking like a Franzensconner or also a um, some of the other uh, German Hefeweizens have a little bit more of that like I like to call it banana flavor or like a bubblegum type flavor that you get in there. Um, this doesn't have as much as more a little bit the, the wheat malt. Uh, the cloves, uh, more of a, like a citrusy, and then like a like a nice crisp finish. It just finishes real dry. Mm. But it is truly a delicious beer. It's very good. Um, now let's talk a little bit about Hockershore because I, I always kind of wondered, you know, Hockershore. I always thought that was kind of a unique name, and it dates back to the original brewery which was Hocker, okay, was the original brewery back from 1417. So it's been around quite a while. Um, now, Hocker Shore, uh, Hocker was owned up until the, somewhere in the 1700s um, 
they got bought out or sold to a relative with the last name Shore. So when, when uh, the Shore family or relatives bought the Hawker Brewery, they also opened up a secondary brewery called the Shore Brewery. So they had the Hawker Brewery and then the Shore Brewery. So they had two different breweries going on in the 1700s. And for many years after that, they ran them as independent breweries, the Hawker Brewery and the Shore Brewery. Um, and uh, the, the, original, the original brewery, the Hawker, was actually around 99 years before they even came out with the German purity laws, which uh, dictate, dictate what you can have in beers in Germany. So Hawker has been around for a long time. And then the Shore, they, you know, kind of had the two separate ones going. Uh, so for a long time, there was the Hawker Brewery and the Shore Brewery, and there were two independent breweries. And then what happened is in 1972, well, actually, first of all, uh, Mr. Shore sold off the, the breweries as the Hawker Brewery and the Shore Brewery, I believe. But then they came back together in 1972, is what I, I have. 1972, they came back as one again under the Hawker Shore name. So all along there's the Hawker Brewery, and then the Shore Brewery, then they had both of them going at the same time, and then they separated different families, I guess, and then somebody ended up buying it and put it back under the Hawker Shore name. So that's why the name Hawker Shore, that's where it comes from. But They've been making beer since the 1400s and they definitely know what they're doing. They make great beers. Their Oktoberfest is good. All their beer is good. There's no beer that I've had from Hawker Shore that's not delicious. Oh, that's great. So I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this. Like I said, you get a little bit different flavor from each kind of the German Hefeweizen. in this one. is a little bit more citrusy not the strong banana flavor like you get in the uh, the Franz and Scanner. I always say that one because I always think of banana when I think of the Franz and Scanner. Uh, but there there are other really good ones that do have that banana flavor if you like that, which I do. I, I like all, all different styles of the Hefeweizen. Uh, so anyway, if you've learned a little bit about uh, Hawker Shore, learned a little bit about beer, Hefeweizen, you know, it's an unfiltered beer, um, top fermented, um, you know, a lot of different things that we've talked about about these German beers. And, you know, as we go through October, I always like to uh, get some German beers going so people can learn about the great history of German beers, because there is a lot of history in the German beers. And uh, if you enjoy this, make sure you tell your friends, make sure they tell their friends and their friends tell their friends until everybody knows about what great fun we're having talking about and drinking beer. <clears throat> if you want some cool gear like this wonderful Beer Issues shirt or a uh, great Beer Issues hat, make sure you check out shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have Beer Issues.